A lot of you have peaked in your main game. You're not actually getting any better. You've played so much, it's now about how well you're playing that day. And that depends on many factors. Stress levels, overall health, tiredness, mental clarity, how much you care, and so on. You've reached a limit, or hit the skill ceiling as some say. And how do you go beyond that limit? How do you break through it? The answer is change. Seriously, like anything in life, if you find you aren't growing or moving forward, it's most likely because you're not adding anything new. And there's a saying in business, if you're not moving forward, you're going backward. Let me share some experience with you. I've been playing the same game mode for over 15 years. I've seen myself play incredibly well, and I've also seen myself fail badly and even rage over nothing. The game is no longer a game. It's a reflection of my life and mental state. And like everyone else, I've gone through some dark times. That's a lesson for another time though. For now, my point is that like me, you'll have your ups and downs. You'll play well, and then you'll play badly. We're human, it's normal. But there is one constant throughout all of that. Hitting shots or not, I was always at a pretty consistent level. That consistency is the skill ceiling. My brain, my abilities, my whole mindset wasn't growing. It was staying the same, and that meant I wasn't improving. In fact, I was probably getting worse, because I was getting too set in my ways. I was no longer able to adapt to new things as easily as before. You see, life isn't actually about mastering one art. It's about developing the potential to master all of them. Because it's about adaptation, survival, being able to get the edge, do things differently to other people. Put it this way, if you learn how to fix an old car, you'll be great at fixing that one car, the same way each time. But if you learn of new ways of doing things, and about new car technology, you'd probably not only fix the old car, but improve it too. You now have more knowledge and tools to work with. You've broadened your perspective. And the same is true for gaming. I'm not saying playing other games all the time will make you the best at one game. It won't. But it will allow you to think outside the box. And in my experience, that's a great way to break the skill ceiling. Don't even bother breaking it. It's not something to break. Just step outside for a while. See it from another perspective. Learn something new. Then go back in. You may not win, but you should find that you understand something that you didn't before. And that ceiling now seems that little bit higher. Because you're not meant to break the skill ceiling, you're meant to raise it. You're an incredibly complicated life form that has been forced to adapt throughout its entire existence. You're made to adapt. If you're stuck, find some new challenges. Expand your mind. And remind yourself that life isn't about birth and death. It's about what's in between. Your life is a process, not a result. So make sure you're always moving forward in some way. Focus on your potential, not your rank, and keep that skill ceiling rising.